I, God, I've just come out of a meeting with my manager, a meeting in which I handed in my notice. Let's go back a little bit. I'm a software developer for Grizz. We are a snack company. We promote healthier snacking. We do boxes of snacks that are designed to fit through your letterbox and you subscribe to them and get them delivered. You get four little snacks like this inside, but you don't choose what they are. We, we choose for you based on what we think that you're gonna like. And we have algorithms that figure out the, the best snacks to put in your box. And we also sell the snacks in shops like Sainsbury's. But anyway, yes, I, I'm a software developer for this company. I've worked on different areas of the business, so I, I've worked on retail related things, so facilitating that whole business of selling in shops. But mostly I've worked on the online business, so the, the website, grace.com, where you can go and subscribe to snacks. Now the number one reaction I get when I tell people that I'm a web developer at Grace is, but Grace already has a website, what do you do? And I have to explain that it's, it's not a, a simple website that looks after itself. There's a team of us that work on this, on this whole online business that we have. Now the size of the team has fluctuated a bit since I've started, but we have like 10-ish developers. The split between the, the website and platform and the, the supply chain stuff, so all of the software that runs in the factory. And then we have product people and UI people, UX people, data people. So it's a big tech team, it's a big project to work on. And we all work to support the, the innovation of the company the, the new products that we sell, the, the new product formats, all of the campaigns that we do. We operate in two countries, here in the UK and in the US, we've got offices in both. If you go back to my vlogs from February last year, I went to visit the, the New York office, that was really cool. And then there's an infinite number of things we can do to make the website faster and more accessible, more scalable, more reliable. There's a lot to keep us busy, but after two years of working on this stuff, I have decided to leave. This is not a decision that I've made lightly, I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's my first job straight out of university. I've, I've really enjoyed working with Grays, uh, so this was a very difficult conclusion to come to. But there are a few reasons why I have decided to move on. To me, a good job is a combination of five things. Money. It's very important to enjoy your job and to love what you do. And a lot of people say you should find a job that you would do regardless of the money. But I would struggle to believe many people would get up and go to an office for nine o'clock every morning for free. I do enjoy my job, but the fundamental reason why I've got a job is to earn money. It's an important factor. Second is learning. You wanna be learning new stuff every day. You want that development. Making a difference. You don't wanna feel like your work is pointless. You wanna feel like it's worthwhile. You want your job to be interesting. This is the enjoyment factor. You don't wanna be bored at work. And finally, even if the first four things are really good, you want to still maintain a good work-life balance. And I think the thing that's guaranteed to change dramatically when you move job is the learning part of it. By learning, I mean the technical skills. So for me, that would be the programming languages, the techniques, the concepts, the tools. The other part of learning would be personal development. For example, working better as a team or being more productive. But for the technical stuff, when you start a new job, you're thrown into a world of new stuff that you've never done before. So in software development, you get a new tech stack, you get new languages, and then you're surrounded by new people who have new things to teach you, and you just absorb all of this information as fast as you can. And throughout your time at a company, the amount you learn each day goes up and down, but eventually it starts to tail off. After a year, you're not learning as much as you did on that first day. You do get really good at what you do, which is great, but you end up doing the same thing every day and you're not really challenged enough. You get comfortable. And that's what I want to avoid. I don't think I'm at that point yet, but I don't want to get to that point. I don't want to get into a routine that's hard to get out of. And that's not to say it's easy to leave my current situation. Like I said, it's, it's a great job. I do enjoy it. Um, it's the first proper job that I've had. So this is the first time I've had to, to choose to leave somewhere in this way. School and sixth form and university, you, you don't really get any choice. Your time there just comes to an end and you, you have to leave and do something else. But with a job, it, it doesn't end, it just keeps going, the same thing every day. And until you stand up and say, I'm gonna stop and do something different, it'll just continue. I'm not really sure what to do now, it's lunchtime. Um, I'm obviously not just done with Grays, uh, just like that. I have a three month notice period, so I am gonna be at Grays for still quite a while. So it's not over yet, uh, but it's, it's strange, and it's quite sad knowing that there's now an end date. The final date hasn't actually been agreed upon, but I'm for now just assuming that it's three months from today. And then after that, that'll be it. I'll, I'll never come to the Grey's office again, which is going to be very strange. But I do have a new job. I have something lined up, which I'll be starting in September. I don't want to talk about it just yet because I haven't signed a contract or anything. So just in case that doesn't quite work out, but it, it looks good. I'm quite excited. 
something you need to learn when you leave the bubble of education is how to manage your own career because suddenly decisions aren't made for you anymore and it's quite a scary change. Of course I have doubts about leaving. I'm very worried that I'm going to regret it, but this is all part of the risk. If the risk pays off, then the reward can be very high. The risk averse option would be to stay where I am, do the same thing every day, not really get much out of my job, but for it to be easy and relaxed. But life is too short to take the easy option. I'm, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to start this new journey in my life, this new job. Thanks for watching.